Welcome back to my channel, Metal Language, and we're going to discuss combined gas law. So let's start with the formula. We have P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2. So P1 will be the original pressure. V1 refers to the original volume. T1 is the original temperature. P2, that will be the resulting pressure. V2 will be the resulting volume, and T2, that will be the resulting temperature. Let's move on. Let's And also take note, we have many pressure units. And all of these that will be discussed are standard pressure. So standard pressure is 1 atm. It can also be 760 torr. 760 mm hg or millimeters of mercury. 101.3 kilopascal or kPa, and lastly, 14.7 psi or pounds per square inch. So they are all equivalent to each other. You may use this. It will be useful if the, they have different units. Because if you're going to solve something, like a problem, it should be the same unit. So if the first one is ATM, the next one also be ATM. Or it depends. Next one. Also take note the temperature units. We have Kelvin, Fahrenheit, or Celsius. So temperature must be converted into Kelvin first for all gas law. If you're not going to convert it and you're just solving it directly, you will get a wrong. You will definitely get a wrong answer. So just in case you have Celsius, you just have to add 273.15. And if you have Fahrenheit, you just add 459.67. And the answer just multiply to 5 over 9. Now, let's have the first example. A gas takes up a volume of 17 liters, has a pressure of 2.3 atm, and a temperature of 299 kelvin. If I raise the temperature to 350k or kelvin and lower the pressure to 1.5 atm, what is the new volume of the gas? So let's place a given. P1 is 2.3 atm. So it's color coded, so you can easily see the given. P2, that will be 1.5 atm. B1, that will be the initial volume, 17 liters. And we are asked to find for the new volume or the resulting volume. So I'll just place X. And for the initial temperature, that will be 299K. And the resulting temperature, that will be 350 Kelvin. So since we have both ATM and pressure, Kelvin and temperature, we can now solve it. We can place the formula. P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. So let's substitute the values. We have here 2.3 multiplied to 17 over 299 is equal to P2, P2, V2, T2. So I'll switch the values also to the right side and you will have 1.5 times X over 350. Now to solve for the value of X, let's simplify first the numerator. You have 39.1 at the left side and at the right side that will be 1.5X. Now let's cross multiply. You will get 13,685 at the left side, and you will get 448.5x at the right side. You just have to divide 448.5 to both sides. So you will get uh, the value of x will be like this one 30.51282 dot dot dot. Now, how will you find the final answer? You will base it on the least number of sig figs or significant figures. So let's check. So we have 2.3 here, so that's two sig figs, 1.5, two sig figs, 17 liters, two also, 299 Kelvin, three, 250 is all, three also. So we will base it to two sig figs. So one, two, cut, and because this is five, so you have to round it up. So the final answer will be 31 and you will add liters uh, the L here because you use liters in the initial volume so this is already the final answer what is the new volume of the gas that will be 31 liters 
Moving on, let's go to example number two. I have an unknown vo volume of gas at a pressure of 0 0.50 atm and a temperature of 325 Kelvin. If I raise the pressure to 1.2 atm, decrease the temperature to 320 Kelvin, and measure the final volume to be 48 liters, what was the initial volume of the gas? Let's place a given. So P1 is equal to 0 0.50 atm. P2 is equal to 1.2 atm. V1, the initial volume, that will be X. And for the resulting volume, that will be 48 liters. For the temperature, initial temperature, temperature that will be 325 Kelvin. And for the resulting temperature, that will be 320 Kelvin. Now, since both of our given temperatures are both in Kelvin, good to go. ATM, yes. We can now solve it. So let's place a formula. P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. Let's substitute the E values. So 0 0.5 multiplied to X over 325. Now, at the right side, we have 1.2 times 48 over 320. Simplify the numerator. And that will be 0.5x. And for the right side, that will be 57.6. Cross multiply. You will get 160x to the left side. And the right side, that will be 18,720. To get the value of x, just simply divide both sides by 160. And x will be 117 liters. Is this the final answer? Let's check the least number of sig figs. So you have 0.5, that will be 2 sig figs, 2 sig figs. 48 liters, also 2 sig figs, 325k, 3. 320, 3. So you will take 2 sig figs. So let's count. 1, 2, cut. Since this is 7, you have to round it up. So the final answer will be 120 liters. So the initial volume of the gas is 120 liters. Alright, so let's go to example number 3. A gas that has a volume of 28 liters, a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius, and an unknown pressure as its volume increased to 34 liters, and a temperature decreased to 35 degrees Celsius. If I measure the pressure after the change to be 2.0 atm or atmosphere, what was the original pressure of the gas? So we're looking for the original pressure. Let's check the given. So P1 is equal to X and P2, that will be 2.0 atmosphere. For the volume, initial volume, that will be 28 liters. And for the P2 resultant volume, that will be 34 liters. For the initial temperature, that will be 45 degrees Celsius. And for the resulting temperature, that will be 35 degrees Celsius. Now, you may notice that our temperature is in Celsius. So we need to convert it to Kelvin. So I just add 273.15. And you will get 318.15 Kelvin in the initial temperature. And for the resulting temperature, that will be 308.15. Kelvin. Now, since we have Kelvin in both sides, liters, both of them are now, both of them have the same units, but make sure that temperature always be in Kelvin before solving. Place a formula. P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. Let's substitute the values. And we have X times 28 over 318.15 is equal to 2.0 times 34 over 308.15. Simplify the numerator. So we have 28x at the left side and for the right side that will be 68. Cross multiply, you will get for the left side you have 8628.2x and for the right side that will be 21634.2. Divide both sides by 8628.2. 8628.2 and you will x will be 2.50 dot 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 now how many sig figs we will check the, we will get the final answer by basing it on the least sig figs so 2.0 has two sig figs two sig figs two sig figs also 
five sig figs, five sig figs. Let's count. One, two, cut. Since this is a zero, we will not round up. So the final answer will be 2.5 atm or atmosphere. So the original pressure of the gas is 2.5 atm. Let's move on to example number four. The pressure of a gas is reduced from 1 to 1,200.0 mmHg to 850.0 mmHg as the volume of its container is increased by moving a piston from 85.0 ml to 350.0 ml. What would the final temperature be if the original temperature was 90.0 degrees Celsius? So we have the given here, P1 is 1,200.0 mmHg, P2 is 850.0 mmHg, the initial volume is 85 ml, the resulting volume will be 350.0 ml, and the initial temperature will be 90 degrees Celsius, and T2 we don't know. Now since we have Celsius here, we have to convert it to Kelvin, and that will be 360.15 Kelvin. It's okay if uh, it's MMHG as long as they are both in MMHG for combined gas law. Okay, and ML, okay, good to go. Let's place the formula. We have P1V1 over T1 is equal to P2V2 over T2. Substitute the values. We have 1, 2 times 85 over 363.15 is equal to 850 times 350 over X. Simplify the numerator of both sides for the left side. We have 102,000, and for the right side, we have 297,500. Now, cross multiply. 102,000x is equal to 108,037,125. Million now, to get the value of x, just divide both sides by 102,000, and x will be 1059.1875. How will you know the final answer based it on the least number of sig figs? So you have 5 here, 4 here, 85, but check, and the given is 85.0, so you have 3 sig figs. 350.0, you have 4 sig figs, 5 sig figs here, so the least number is 3. So let's count, 1, 2, 3, cut. So since this is a 9, you have to round it up. So the final answer will be 1060 Kelvin. But in the problem is in Celsius, so you may also want to convert it back to Celsius. Just decrease it by 273.15. So in the calculator, we have 786.85. So let's count to three sig figs. One, two, three. Cut. Since this is an eight, you will round it up. And the final answer will be 787 degrees Celsius. Let's have the final example. A toy balloon has an internal pressure of 1.05 atm and a volume of 5.0 liters. If the temperature where the ba balloon is released is 20 degrees Celsius, what will happen to the volume when the balloon rises to the altitude where the pressure is 0.65 atm and the temperature is negative 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's have the given. P1 is 1.05 atm, P2 is 0.65 atm, and the initial volume is 5.0 liters. The resulting volume, we don't know, so that will be X. Initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, and the final temperature will be negative 15 degrees Celsius. Let's change the Celsius to Kelvin first. We have 293.15 Kelvin. And for the final temperature, that will be 258.15 Kelvin. Since we have ATM in both sides, so we can solve the problem. Let's place the formula. Now substitute the values. So we have 1.05 times 5 over 293.15. That's equal to 0 0.65 times x over 258.15. Simplify the numerator. Now, we just cross multiply. And we have 1,355.2875 at the left side. And for the right side, we have 190.5475x. Divide both sides by 190.5475. 190.5475. And the value of x 
will be 7.112596 and so on. Now, let's get the least sig figs. So 3, 2, 2, 5, and also 5. So 2 sig figs. So 1, 2, cut. So since this is a 1, we will round it down. So the final answer will be 7.1 meters. And that's the end of the lesson on how to com so solve for combined gas law. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. Or if you have if you need help with your assignment or module, just comment down below also. I'll do my best to answer it. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification so you will be updated for my future videos. Thank you and goodbye.